have some, it's some, why can I not talk to it? <laughs> So I am here to do a book haul. Yay! I know it has been a very long time since I've done one, which is a good and bad thing. A good thing because I haven't bought so many, and a bad thing because I'm sure you guys love them. I think everybody loves book hauls. But anyway, this is a collective book haul, so this has been over the past whenever I've done the last book haul. So it's been that long. So it's been quite a while. Um, it's not too many. It's not crazy amount, so that's a good thing as well. So, um, I'm just going to jump straight into it. These books I've gotten at various places for various prices. I got are two, there are two different books, but they're from the same series. They are part of the Strange Angel series, which I do have. Um, and I got Jealousy, but these are by Lily St. Croix, by the way, and Reckoning. So these are part of the Strange Angel series. Jealousy is the third book in the series, and Reckoning is, I believe, the fifth one, I'm hoping. I think so. So anyway, I yet to have number two, so I have the first, third, and fifth of the series. But you know, whatever, I got them for a very cheap price, both three dollars each, so that's pretty good to me. So it's a win-win. If you don't know about Strange Angels, I believe it's about um a girl who like becomes like a zombie fighter and all that kind of stuff. So that, I believe that's what that's about. I'm trying to these synopsis very short. I also got two different books from Joan B Bauer? Bayer? I don't know. So I got Close to Famous by Joan Bear, and look at those cupcakes. That could be the reason I bought it, I don't know. And Peeled. This is a girl who works for the newspaper, and the biggest story in town is a ghost, so I guess she's trying to figure that out. Um, I haven't heard much about um, this book. I do, I have read a couple books by Joan Bear. I don't know, it's been a while, so I don't know the names of it, but I mean, I've heard, I haven't heard awful things about her, so. And this one is about, it's about a girl who wants to eventually have her own TV cooking show. And I love reading anything about cooking. Hence, Bittersweet by Sarah Oppler, an amazing, an amazing book. So, yes. The next book I have is Roads and Assistance by Amy Clipston. Also another book that I am just vaguely unfamiliar from. And it's about a girl that likes working on cars or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Sorry, guys. The next book I got is The Fine Art of Truth and Dare. And I actually got this one on Amazon because I was looking for a good, um, I've noticed I have a lot of, not a lot of contemporary books in my collection and I do enjoy contemporary so I thought you know I'd get another one and this was really cheap anyway. I believe it's about um, a boy and girl from different schools or something like that um, by Ella and Alex and they both like each other and something about art. I've heard good things about it so yeah that's all I know. <laughs> okay these next ones I actually know a bit about so hopefully it'll be better. I got The Immortal Rules by Julie Kakawa. Julie Kakawa has also wrote the Iron Fae series, which I like, but I don't love. A lot of people love it, which is awesome, you know, good for you. Um, but I'm usually not a big fairy reader. I'm not... I like fairy stories, but I'm not in love with them. Like, I don't love a lot of fairy stories. I think that's the only fairy story I've actually really ever read, and I don't know. Anyway, this one is about vampires, and it kind of reminds me of the movie, like, I think, well, I want to say Daybreakers or something like that. Where actually the, it's where the vampires control the world and they keep humans as like, what's the word, like for blood cattle? Is that the right word? They just use them for their blood pretty much. I believe it's about a girl who um becomes a vampire and learns about that and all that kind of stuff. And I've heard a lot of good things about this. So really excited to read this soon. Um, if any of these books that you see you want me to read soon, leave a comment. It'll get pushed up on my to read to be read uh, to be read pile I promise because every month I just stare at my bookshelf and say what should I read so if you guys have any comments or suggestions feel free to leave them because that helps me out tremendously so I've heard many good things about this this one should be coming up reading wise in the next couple months because I'm just excited to read it the next book I got is The Disenchantments by Lean Nina LaCour I love the cover of this because I like the sun flare right here. It's about a girl who has a boyfriend who is in a band and they travel Europe and she goes along with them. I think, I don't know if they break up at some point or she plans to go to school in the fall but they don't know about that. So it's kind of like a band road trip thing which I love because my husband is in a band so I can relate to that. I've never been on tour with them or anything because they're not a big band but it's just fun to read about that. The next book I got is Jodi Gemrom. Gem I am butchering these names. Jody, give something right here. Focus, Babe in Boyland, and this is about a girl who goes undercover boy, 
and I think for a news article or something I'm along that lines. If you've ever seen that really old 80s movies, not She's the Man because that's recent and I don't really like that movie, but it's an older one. I want to see it was in the 80s where she dressed up like a boy and pretended to be a boy just so she can be on the football team, I think. That was a really good movie and that's what this book reminds me of. Alright, the next book I have is Struck by Jennifer Bosworth. If you have watched my 2012 most anticipated um, releases, this was on them because I am just, I think I'm going to really love this book and I can't wait to devour it. Um, it's about a girl who loves lightning and she, um, I think it's power through them or something and after horrendous things about how California has got a huge earthquake and then it's just crazy and now things are happening she is somehow the key to all that and it's about her ability with lightning and stuff like that it's definitely a new take I've never seen before or never read about so I'm very excited to see what it's gonna come and play of course it's kind of like which I'm super excited to read is The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde um I don't know much about Oscar Wilde I do know this is his most, um this is his most famous book um and I got this because it was only four dollars of the story that they get to and look how insanely cool it is like look how it's it's I don't know if the my camera picks it up but it's in like a um I'm gonna say is this cobalt blue cobalt blue it's like kind of leathery um and the pages are silver if you can see that so it's very it's just it's so cool I love this um I don't know much about this book at all I know it's a classic and I really want to start trying to read more classics. Um, I have a list, but it's not a very good list. I don't know of any. There are some classics I've read. I love, love, love The Great Gatsby. I've read 1984. I've read The Canterbury Tales, Beowulf, those kind of things. Um, but I want suggestions, guys. If you have classics you love, please share them with me because I am just at all time, I don't know what kind of classics I should read. The next three books are my last books, and they are not really mine, but my friend has let me borrow them because she likes reading, I like reading, so we borrow books back and forth. And um, I just thought I'd share them with you guys so you can see um, what they are. Now these are adult books, not adult books, I mean like they're like not YA books, but um, yeah. Um, so she gave me, they're all by Nora Roberts, if you don't, if you haven't heard of Nora Roberts, which I don't know much about, but I know she is a huge author and but my friend let me borrow these or she just she didn't even let me borrow them she gave them to me and said read these you will love these I know you you'll love them so it's really nice having friends like that that just know your interests and stuff like that anyway they are all part of well two of them are part of a four-part series I think and this one is called vision in white this one's called happily ever after okay they're part of the bride quartet this is book four this is book one and I don't know if she has the other one and this is called Stand in Room. Now these are these two are about the wedding quartet, which she explained to me. She explained that they are four friends and they all have four different jobs. Um, one book is about the bride, I believe. One book is about the wedding planner. One book is about the baker, and one book is about the photographer. Now this one right here is about the photographer, so that is why she gave it to me. Because if you guys don't already know, if I haven't slayed it anything enough, I am a wedding photographer, so I love reading anything to do about that. So. Yeah, I want, I'm reading this like off and on right now between my other books and um, it's starting out pretty good and I'm really excited to read it. This one is about, she, this one is about the wedding planner. So, Stand in Room and this is about, if somewhat similar to the wedding planner, if you've seen that, this is what it's somewhat about. I don't know. Anyway, that was my book haul. Hopefully it wasn't too long. Um, once again, please leave me suggestions on books you think I might want to read or if you want to see them come up and just give me suggestions of books you would like me to read. I really appreciate that and I really appreciate all you guys for watching and um, have a great and wonderful day. Bye.